Hey guys, I hope all is well with everyone. Um, this is going to be interesting. We're going to be looking into the energies between Jimin and Tae Young. I say it's going to be interesting because if you've seen the video about um, Lisa and Jimin, it seems as though Jimin is trying to give Lisa some advice and help with trying to get closer to an earth sign that's in their masculine energy. Now, don't get me wrong. We all hold our feminine and masculine energy here. That's what keeps us balanced. At least when we are balanced, we <laughs> we do hold both, no matter what. So I'm wondering, wondering, I'm not a shipper or I'm not somebody that's going to give an elaborate story. Let's see what the cards give out. I'm just wondering if Lisa's cards are going to be coming up. So we're going to start off with Jimin's current energy towards Tae Young. Can you tell us about Jimin's current energy towards Tae Young? A little too soon, a bit much. Jimin's current energy towards Tae Young, please. All right, we're starting off with this King of Wands, masculine energy, fire sign. It is also about strategically planning to move forward. Trying to get to victory, finding harmony with a tower moment here. This could be a third party situation. We have two threes at the bottom of the deck here. We have the three of swords and the three of wands. It's something to do with the past here. Maybe even a nostalgic situation. But there's patience involved with this heartache and pain. So it's like holding this, this feeling here of the three of swords and being very patient I'm hearing because they have this great connection from the past. Jimin's current energy towards Tae Young, please. There's an issue with trying to defeat things. Wow, very stressful. And it creates this journey of a lot of fear, worry, sleepless nights with trying to defeat this. The lover's card. We're starting off with the top of the deck. Seeing it very beautiful and abundant here. Filling the cup up with joy. It's like sur trying to surpass all of this and trying to defeat things to get to victory. I want to first look into this King of Wands and then we'll look into the tower and get depth after the tower. Why do we have this King of Wands here for Jimin's current energy towards Young? I want to know if this is somebody within their masculine energy. Or is this something energetically? Why do we have this King of Wands here? For Jimin's current energy. This one slipped out like butter, you guys, out from my fingers. Trying to balance out the scales, find justice within this. It's almost like Jimin is being placed in a certain situation here. And he's trying to make careful decisions at this crossroad here. I'm 
trying to balance out his emotions, make grounded decisions, and socializing about it. This does show a third party involvement with the Three of Cups, so there's a third person involved here. Tell me more about this King of Wands here. For Jimin's current energy towards Tae Young. Trying to defeat things in a valuable manner. It's almost like trying to be respectful with trying to get through this tower moment. Trying to defeat things, bring in healing with this path that was decided to take here. But it's as though there's information that comes in that's being presented that creates a conflict and a battle between them. Getting the cold shoulder about or being even being out in the cold about this some sort of new creation, something being started here. Why do we have this King of Wands? Can you give me a little more here, please? For Jimin's current energy towards Tae Young. Just as I thought. I mean, this King of Wands could also be Lisa and her masculine energy because Jimin is Libra. It's like what he has. Yeah, there's a secret with her. Yeah, she's the third party. It's what I am seeing here. He's trying to help her get closer to Tae Young is what it looks like, judging by the cards. It's like something going to happen between these two here. She might possibly see Tae Young as a love interest. But like I've said in that video as well, the lover's card does not always mean a physical romantic relationship. It can also mean a close relationship, as in like seeing as a family member trying to fix a bond between each other, trying to mend it, trying to make it better, trying to bring it closer. The lover's card, for example, can show up as, for a family member as well. I just I can't stress enough that the lover's card does not always mean a romantic situation between two. Not always. Sometimes, yes. But it's like putting Jimin in a situation. It's like he's feeling as though he's the monkey in the middle. That's how I'm seeing this tower card here now. He wants to defeat things for Lisa. But he also wants his harmony as well with Tae Young. And it, it seems as though it's really hard to keep this situation with Lisa to himself. I want to see what the outcome is for this. Can you tell us the outcome of this situation? For Jimin and Tae Young. Now I kind of want to do one for all three of them in one. Can you give us the outcome, please? Hey. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a strong battle, strong conflict. <laughs> Jim is going to want to figure out a happy balance here real quick because he's not liking the position that he's being placed in. But he doesn't mind helping. Seems as though he's got a big heart to do this, to put himself through this emotional situation here. Say emotional situation because it seems as though it's going to wind up weighing heavy on him because he's the one that's stuck in the middle trying to help find this balance. And he's quickly trying to figure out the best way to close these doors and move forward from it and find a balance. Bringing light to the situation. Investigating further into this journey here for in order to do so. A lot of eagerness to get past this. And I don't blame him if you're feeling you know, kind of like a monkey in the middle. Being stuck between two energies and trying to help them, trying to help mend them. Okay, so next we're going to look into Tae Young's current energy towards Jimin. Can you tell us about Tae Young's? Current energy towards Jimin, please. Tae Young's current energy towards Jimin. It's, it's like Young is like oblivious to it. Because what's coming out for him is this path he decided to take with fame, placing all of his energy into it, giving a lot of attention, being very patient, waiting for some type of action or truth to come to light here. Tae Young's current energy towards Jimin, please. He is more focused on the dedication that he has with Jimin. Making ground decisions to move forward, balancing out emotions. It's like he's oblivious with what's going on with Jimin here. We do have the Empress at the bottom of the deck here. The Empress men means many things. It does not always mean the female counterpart. It can also represent a large project being brewed, putting a lot of your energy into it to grow it. Like I've said before, each card means many, many, many things. It just depends on what's laid next to it. And it looks like they're trying to, or Young wants to open up this new chapter, being very eager with information that comes in. Feeling apathetic about an opportunity here. Maybe he's starting to catch on. Young's current energy towards Jimin, please.
It's almost like he knows something's up. There's this door that closes on this and opens up to sleepless nights here. There's a lot of actions, but there's a guard being put up here. Charging to the Wheel, wheel of Fortune. It's almost like he sees, in his mind, he's seeing Jim in here open up a new chapter. Taking a new journey. Which looks happy. Very happy. The happiest card in the deck here. The sun card. Tay Young's current energy towards Jimin, please. Dear goodness gracious. This one here almost went onto the floor. Dealing with heartache and pain, seeing a third party from another perspective. It's creating pain, stress, trying to find a balance and revive an action here. It's like he's seeing Jimin in his masculine and feminine energy here. He could also be trying to look further into the situation to try and get his own answers here. Like, something's not right here. And between Young and Jimin, and Young wants to look further into it. Can you give us more depth here, please? On Young's current energy towards Jimin. Can you give us more depth here, please? Quickly charging towards a conflict. That's going to be a battle to deal with. And it is strong on their path, their journey together with where they decided to go. There's like this want of bringing in this happiness now. More depth here, please. Definitely a third party involvement because of the Three of Pentacles. Keeping it in the dark. Definitely in the dark. There's moves being made. Victorious moves. Something big's going on in the dark. Being given the cold shoulder here and fantasizing about what's going on here. Like the mind is going wild. Holding on tight to what feels like happiness. But there's this crossroad here, decision about taking a new journey. I wonder if Tay Young actually knew what was going on he'd probably be happy and satisfied about it but Jimin's really trying to keep things under his hat it's strongly hidden and that could be what's creating the stress and this disappointment because he can see and sense that something's going on behind closed doors on this path that was decided to take here 
and feeling stuck, not knowing which way to go, what decision to make for in order to take control of the situation. So it's like he knows something weird's going on with Jimin, but he can't quite put his finger on it. And it creates fear and sleepless nights because he's not sure what's going on here. Now we're going to look into the future between them. Can you tell us the future between Young, sorry, Jimin and Young? The future between Jimin and Young. There's this pain that's being held on to, but it came out basically in reverse here. He could be feeling as though he's being impaled by this and he's going to hold on tight to it. It's going to be a grudge. At least a little bit. I mean, they got a close bond, so I can't see a grudge being held on for very long. The future between Jimin and Young, please. There's confessing about this, speaking up about it, about this burden, because it's weighing heavy. Wanting to take action and move forward, trying to bring a point or a time where there's honesty so that Jimin can speak up about this tower moment that he's feeling. It's like calling for this need of discussion, communicating. Wow. Yeah, definitely. Well, having a, a door that's open, starting something new here. 10, 10, 10. And needing to close out the cycle, creating something new, needing to close out that cycle, starting something else new then eventually closing out that cycle. But with doing all of this here, there needs to be a discussion. There could be a discussion between them in the future here to bring in happiness because they hold on to the happiness that they've had before, everything else, so they can, like, it's like they're, they're sensing that something's not right here. Holding on tight to this King of Pentacles. Young is stuck in his head, fantasizing, like, what is going on? What is the dealio? Can we discuss of what's going on here? Because I don't like how it's sitting. And I want this happiness back between us. Having to do with this beautiful new journey. This abundant new chapter. The future between Jemin and Young Seems as though it's a destined situation. Really being stuck up in the head. Bringing in some sort of disappointment. Heartache and pain. It's almost like how could you really keep this from me and not present it. Not bring it to light. But there's patience. That's love. <laughs> but dealing with this energy here and being patient, that's some form of love there. If there was no love, then there would be impatience. Not even wanting to deal with it, not even wanting to mend it. Ooh. So then it's like once it's as though Young will find out of what's going on here between 
Jimin, and I'm really, really, really sensing that this is Lisa here. As the Queen of Wands, showing up next to the Lover's card, filling this cup up with joy. It's like once Young finds out, there will be action taken. He will feel stressed about it. Like not know. 100% sure which route to take after finding this out. But it's going to heal this transition between him and Jimin. They will defeat. Here, let me show you what's at the bottom here. With this path that was decided to take, it's going to quickly move them towards another new creation, which will depart towards which the departure is going to have a lot of actions involved here. To defeat things strongly, balance out emotions, ground decisions with what with where the pain and disappointment is sitting. So once it's like there's communication of what's really going on, then there's going to be a reconciliation. There will be happiness, understanding. There's this great energy between them from the past. We're really thinking in solitude how to move past this bizarre situation because it's, I say bizarre situation because it's as though Young is able to sense that there's something wonky going on here and he can't quite put his finger on it and he's not feeling happiness he's feeling more like he's getting the bad end of this until a confession time comes along about what's weighing heavy and it's going to bring in happiness here and it's like going to shoot him off to a new departure here and it's going to have a lot of action involved but they're going to be defeating things then it'll bring them stronger together it's like Young will understand where Jimin was sitting it's going to be able to put all the pieces together like, oh, that makes sense now. Okay, bud. Well, it's not like, you know, your fault. It's all right. Like, we can work through this. And it's not like intentionally being deceitful at all, which makes it better. And I wouldn't see why if they have like this brotherly love bond. I don't see why. There would be anything intentionally deceitful at all. And I'm certainly not picking that up. It's just trying to help out one friend to another. And it places Jimin in this certain situation that he kind of doesn't want to be in. But he doesn't mind it because he's helping his friends out. So that's where I'm going to leave this off at, you guys. Until next time, Auf Wiedersehen. Bye-bye.